I love the NCFCA and everything about it. And in my two seasons with the NCFCA, one of the most encouraging things that I've been able to implement in my day-to-day -day life is not just the ability to learn how to articulate my ideas, but specifically, I have had the encouragement from those around me at the NCFCA and my friends and my family to follow little nudges that I believe we all get from the Holy Spirit that say, you need to go ask that stranger how she's doing, or I need you to go and say something to your sister about what's going on. Just the little nudges that we all get from the Holy Spirit, encouraging us to do things that may seem out of the ordinary. And through the NCFCA and the people that I've known there, I have been able to, by the grace of God, um, approach several people and try and encourage them. And one particular example comes to mind, and that was walking into the bathroom at a tournament, and it was me and one other person, and that other person was crying in her stall, and it was incredibly awkward, and I really wanted to back out of the room and leave and pretend like I'd never come in. But by the grace of God, I was able to approach her after she had come out of her stall, and I said, do you want someone to pray for you? And I feared her rejecting me and saying, I'm fine, leave me alone. And I feared the awkwardness. And you know what? The first thing she said was, I'm okay, it's okay. And so I guess I was rejected a little bit and it was incredibly awkward. But then she looked at me and she said, actually, yes, that would be wonderful. And then I proceeded to pray one of the worst and most uneloquent prayers I've ever prayed in my entire life. And I looked at her afterwards and thought, oh, you botched this so bad. And she looked at me and said, I have never felt the peace of Christ come upon me so quickly. So I encourage us all, look around, look at the people around you, try and see who needs help and who the Holy Spirit is guiding you to look out for, and then follow those nudges, whether you feel awkward or fear rejection, because it's not what we say, it's who is leading us. And he's going to give us the right words, whether we articulate them clearly or not. Thank you.